Hey there, Hydro Holder. Hello there. My name is Adam. Welcome back to the channel, Caputi Inc. Today's agenda, I've got my gooseneck tilt bed. I kind of call it the low boy. It's a triple axle. Um, it's a 2014 low trail. Uh, I'm going to put a winch on it. I've got the old Harbor Freight Badland X, excuse me, ZXR 1200 truck and SUV winch. Uh, or 1200, 12,000. Uh, there's already a plate on here. Hopefully the, low, the holes will line up. Maybe we'll have to weld some new ones. Uh, and then we're going to load up uh, my service truck I bought last fall. Uh, it's a F450 Dually. Maybe it's a 550. I think it's 450. Dually uh, Ford. Um, load that up. Take it to my buddy Austin so he can uh, do a little work on that. See why it's running a little funny. So uh, let's get kicking. Alright, check it out. Battle tested. That's exciting. Uh, I also bought the wireless winch remote control with the 50 foot range. Maybe we'll test that out, see if they're full of shit or not. And I also have this kit here, which uh, isn't a Harbor Freight deal, but I have power run to the back of my truck there, and it's just got this quick connect. Uh, it's nice heavy gauge wire. So this will be hooked onto the winch. So as long as we're hooked up to the truck, which you know you're not pulling a trailer without a truck usually, uh, you'll be able to just plug this in. You won't have a battery to recharge. You'll have two batteries on the truck that will be, you know, providing power or whatever, and they'll be charging. So you don't have to screw around with an external battery or a auxiliary battery, if you will. So uh, let's cut this sucker open and see what she looks like. Relay block of some sort there. Hook. Oh. Mounting hardware, I assume. Winch controller. Instructions. <laughs> right. We'll go back to those when we can't figure out what we need to do. Uh, external ground. We'll make sure we add that too. Extra ground. Ooh, nifty red cable. Tether. Is that what we call that? A tether? Yeah. There she is. That's pretty nice. Looking there. That's pretty. Apparently we get an octopus here, baby squid. Let's see what we got. Alright. That's a pretty sweet deal there. Hooks on. Winch controller you plug into there. Must have all your relays and stuff inside of that. Yeah, mount that up real nice. Cable guide. I do believe you call, it, call that. I'm sure somebody will... Let me know that it's got like a really cool name other than a cable guide, line guide, maybe. Looks like we're open other packaging we have in here. Oh! There we go. This thing is happy! It's pretty sweet. Alright, set her up into place, see if it'll mount where we want it to mount. Looking very promising. Maybe like the last owner was also a uh, cheap ass and bought a Harbor Freight winch. This winch plate that was already on here uh, already had the bolt pattern for this. Maybe it's similar to all winches keep the similar bolt pattern. Maybe I got lucky and this is exactly what uh, winch the previous owner had on this. I bought this trailer used. Uh, it's been awesome. Just awesome. I love having this low deck. I've had deck over everything and a dump trailer. Went away from a car trailer a while ago just to haul my equipment and having a new one of these has been uh, I find myself using it for as much as possible and now I'm really thinking about getting a smaller skid loader that will fit on this and going away from having a deck over all together because I've got a big one for behind the dump truck but uh, having this tilt bed you don't have to flip ramps up anymore, uh, lower to the ground in general, I like that idea, uh, easier to get on and off, you know I'm fat, my dad's old, so this is kind of nice, so alright we'll get back to doing the install on this. Alright, I assume the next important piece of the puzzle would be how we're going to 
mount this guy here. I already got to go to the instructions, son of a bitch. Alright, get you a quick rundown. Red wire goes to red stud, yellow wire or yellow cover on black wire goes to yellow, black goes to the other one. Um, then they have a red wire that comes out of here that you're supposed to, which is actually this guy. And then that's supposed to go to the battery or the circuit breaker. But my truck already has a circuit breaker in line. I have the power run to the back of the truck here. And it uses this here connector. These are pretty sweet. Kits can be found on Amazon. Uh, they have jumper cable accessories and stuff like that too, pretty sweet. So I just went straight with the negative to that or the ground to that to the bottom of here where this little wire and they recommend you take the battery ground too. And then I disconnected this wire from the inside and just ran the wire from this here harness deal in there. So we're permanently wired to plug into the back of the truck here. I'm going to add like a loom clamp or something to keep this stuff from moving around. And uh, yeah, that's where that'll sit. Got all our wires tied up and loom clamped. All right, first try using the winch. We'll see uh, see what happens. Hopefully the truck's not too long for the tilt bed. Up close and personal, final install there. Uh, see if we can't find a better place just to hang the cord, but it looks like it's working for now. Uh, it almost pulled that big truck up on there. You can see these uh, C-channel, they flexed a little bit, so we'll see what we can do about adding maybe like a diagonal brace or something like that to just give it a little more strength. Uh, the wireless remote controller from Harbor Freight that's supposed to go on this, uh, it worked to roll it out, but it didn't go back in. It was clicking, so as if it was supposed to work, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, we'll just try and get a different one see if that's the problem but uh, pretty excited about it so neat stuff I'd say that was a success for the most part uh, that's a pretty heavy freaking truck to be trying to pull up over that bump um, so I'm, uh, I'm jazzed it's like where the winch was mounted could use a little extra support the I-beams it's actually C-channel kind of flex more than I was excited about so maybe heavy trucks you just actually maybe you run a chain to that to the other truck just to kind of create a cohesive attachment there but uh hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe so you can see me doing more of my most excellent work comment if you feel necessary see you on the next one